Okay, so I was going on and on and on earlier in one of my videos about Aaron Brown and how I don't think he's guilty of this. Definitely not alone. If for any reason he is. And I had to recall where I actually saw this complaint. And I didn't share it when I first saw it because I was looking for it online myself and still not having a lot of luck, which is very strange. But you know what? Some people are just more resourceful than others. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to share. So I remembered I had to brainstorm and go back and go back through my videos and watch laters. And I found it. It was this video right here posted by the crazy crime chick. And please, please go over and give her a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. A lot of people have been talking about this right here. And nobody really has the paperwork that I've seen except Crazy Crime Chick. So, I went and got it. I'm sure she won't mind. We're going to spread the word and the awareness. We all want justice. We all have questions. So, I'm going to play this. We can all shed some light on this burglary call, this call, this weird, weird call. Feel free in the comments to help make some sense of this. Make sure I start it at the beginning. All right. This is the incident report. That should be really easy to find, but very interesting. Why wouldn't kidnapping be on the same report? I mean, it all happened at one time, right? Or did it? Because based on these times that the crazy crime chick is going to circle for us, doesn't match up because Monica said she slept in until about 10 o'clock on this day because Cash normally wakes her up. But on May 15, 2021 at about 6.52 a.m., <laughs> things were happening. Yeah. baby was discovered to be deceased at 6 50 how, how are you still sleeping on may 15th 2021 suspect darren ronald brown committed the offense of burglary against complainant monica sherrod this offense occurred at 7527 florina parkway in the city of dallas dallas county texas on May 15, 2021, at about 10.48 a.m., complainant M. Sherrod called 911 to report that a four-year-old white male that was in her care could not be located. 
Dallas Police Child Abuse Detective Perez responded to the complaint residence located at 7527 Florina Parkway, Dallas, Texas, and met with complainant M. Sherrod. She stated that she was caring for the missing four-year-old who is her boyfriend's child and identified him as Cash Gurnan. She stated that he was last seen wearing shorts and she showed Detective Perez a video clip that she had on her phone of Cash Gurnan. The residence was searched after obtaining written consent from witness M. Sherrod and the missing child could not be located. A search warrant was obtained for the location located at 7527 Florina Parkway and an Arlo video surveillance system was operating inside of the residence with a camera inside a bedroom. Video footage from the surveillance system showed that on 5-15-2021 at about 7-27 a.m. an unknown male is seen standing in a bedroom looking into a child's crib. Complainant M. Sherrod viewed the video and identified the suspect as a person she is familiar with but did not have her consent to be inside her residence. On May 16, 2021, the suspect was arrested for one count of kidnapping. Dallas County Warrant Number 4217548 after he was seen removing a male juvenile from the same residence about two hours before this burglary offense. Per police reports and eyewitness statements, on May 15, 2021, at 5 a.m., Cash Gurnan is captured on camera being taken from his residence by Darren Brown. At 6.50 a.m., a woman walking reports a child in the middle of the street in a puddle of blood. At 6.53 a.m., per the police report, Monica Sherrod called in for a break-in. At 7.27 a.m., Brown is captured again on camera returning to Monica's residence. At 10.48 a.m., Monica Sherrod called 911 and reported Cash missing. Now how does that make sense? Al Harris, Brown defense attorney, said Brown told him that he is not I'll guilty of breaking into the bit. house and taking it makes absolutely no sense. Listen to the times. Crash missing. Returning to Monica's. Go back a little more. Let's start. Per the police report, Monica Sherrod called in for a break in. At 7.27 a.m., Brown is captured again on Brown at the house at 7 to something. Monica's residence. At 10.48 a.m., Monica Sherrod called 911 and reported Oh, well, he took the missing. baby that morning? Let me just pause this because i got to say this. So he took the baby. I'm sorry. We, we saw that it was dark when he took the baby. We see in the morning they're saying it's 7-something. And there's no cash. And Darren Brown is in the house walking around relaxed. And then at 10 o'clock, 10 something, she calls the cops again, this time for a kidnap. I mean, if I'm not hearing it right, somebody help me out. This makes absolutely no sense. It doesn't look good for you, Monica, is what I'm saying. It doesn't make a damn bit of sense. He said Brown told him that he is not guilty of breaking into the house and taking cash or of killing him. This is not an open and shut case. Even if you believe that's Brown on the video, it doesn't mean he killed the kid, said okay. Harris, who added that he's only seen the video online and has not received it from police or prosecutors. Harris said he has not yet received any evidence in the case. He has visited Brown in jail and spoken with his family. Harris said he will request a mental health evaluation and anticipates there will be proof of a serious mental disorder. Harris did not provide any details.
on May 15, 2021, suspect Darren Ronald Brown committed the offense of burglary against complainant Monica Sherrod. This offense occurred at 7527 Florina Parkway in the city of Dallas, Dallas County, Texas. On May 15, 2021, at about 10.48 a.m., complainant M. Sherrod called 911 to report that a four-year-old white male that was in her care could not be located. Dallas Police Child Abuse Detective Perez responded to the complainant's residence located at 7527 Florina Parkway, Dallas, Texas, and met with complainant M. Sherrod. She stated that she was caring for the missing four-year-old who is her boyfriend's child and identified him as Cash Gurnan. She stated that he was last seen wearing shorts and she showed Detective Perez a video clip that she had on her phone of Cash Gurnan. The residence was searched after obtaining written consent from witness M. Sherrod and the missing child could not be located. A search warrant was obtained for the location located at 7527 Florina Parkway and an Arlo video surveillance system was operating inside of the residence with a camera inside a bedroom. Video footage from the surveillance system showed that on 5-15-2021 at about 7.27 a.m. an unknown male is seen standing in a bedroom looking into a child's crib. Complainant M. Sherrod viewed the video and identified the suspect as a person she is familiar with but did not have her consent to be inside her residence. On May 16, 2021, the suspect was arrested for one count of kidnapping. Dallas County Warrant Number 4217548 after he was seen removing a male juvenile from the same residence about two hours before this burglary offense. Per police reports and eyewitness statements, on May 15, 2021, at 5 a.m., Cash Gurnan is captured on camera being taken from his residence by Derek Brown. At 6.50 a.m., a woman walking reports a child in the middle of the street in a puddle of blood. At 6.53 a.m., per the police report, Monica Sherrod called in for a break-in. At 7.27 a.m., Brown is captured again on camera returning to Monica's residence. At 10.48 a.m., Monica Sherrod called 911 and reported cash missing. Al Harris, Brown defense attorney, said Brown told him that he is not guilty of breaking into the house and taking cash or of killing him. This is not an open and shut case. Even if you believe that's Brown on the video, it doesn't mean he killed the kid, said Harris, who added that he's only seen the video online and has not received it from police or prosecutors. Harris said he has not yet received any evidence in the case. He has visited Brown in jail and spoken with his family. Harris said he will request a mental health evaluation and anticipates there will be proof of a serious mental disorder. Harris did not provide any details. Great, great work, crazy crime chick. Excellent. Excellent. No matter how much we dig, we get more questions than answers. And it seems like that with a lot of these cases. I know, but this man. Monica, just come clean. Jeez. There's one more that Crazy Crime Chick has that I believe is, um, bear with me. I got a one hand tight because the cat is asleep on my other arm. I'm going to type her. Try to get this exactly right, but what I'm trying to do is bring up this other video. Um, she has some really good footage. Oh my gosh, uh, that I think is not really in the mainstream. This video only has 234 likes, but and it just went off my screen. But it has like 4,000. Um, 
use. So the word is out there. People, people got to understand the way that YouTube works. If you want to get your information out, it does need to get likes. That's what helps YouTube realize that it's uh, relevant to a certain extent. That's not the only way it works, but it helps so much. So all I can say to you guys is if you are while I'm talking, but if you are enjoying the content um, and learning from this and you really want to help, no matter where you are in this whole world, all you have to do is hit that like button on those videos. And it's not just helping out a, a creator to feel like someone cared. It's actually spreading the awareness. So I just want to say that because I know um, I make it a habit to try to hit the like button before I leave anyone's video that I actually appreciate it and I want people to know about. I like, I share, I subscribe, I do all of that. Um, and it's, it's enough for anybody's monetary gain, even though if they get something from it, that's an awesome thing because the YouTubers work really hard. So much respect for the dirt, the dirt they dig up. But um, if you really want to spread the word, you're in Canada, you're in Chicago, and you're in New York, wherever you are, that like button is your secret power whether you know it or not. So use it. And again, I'm typing with one hand. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm actually about 50 words a minute when I have both hands. Beautiful. Have a look at this. Please check out the crazy thing.
We have information, but right now it's the circumstances are unusual, so I can't really comment, but we do believe we're, we've got a link here. We were then led to a second location in the neighborhood, where the FBI was found carrying several items out of a home, including a rug. We have asked the FBI's crime scene unit to come out, so our federal partners are coming out to help us to collect digital evidence as well as help us, um, we've processed the scene. Dallas police say 18-year-old Darren Brown is the prime suspect. He has already been charged with kidnapping and burglary at the home eight blocks away on Florina Parkway, where the child was sleeping. That's where detectives located a tissue paper in a bathroom that had blood drops on it. A small pocket knife was also located and seized. 